Definitely when I go for a walk, I'm very conscious about plants that are around me and what they could potentially be used for <laughs> in textiles. But the bee tree is definitely something very new to me. In this research, we, we started looking for um, natural materials. So that's why we found uh, wood veneer as a very interesting one. The beech tree or the beech veneer um, is one that reacts a lot to uh, moisture. So meaning when you spray it with water, for example, um, it deforms, it bends. It can be very nice because it makes it seem alive. especially when we're thinking of the veneer and the paper yarn, which is all based on cellulose. At some point, it was alive. One of the things that we looked at in this project is specifically how do shape-changing textiles uh, shape our relationship with the textile or even with the environment? And if that could invite more sustainable behaviors. The cotton um, that we've used, it used to be a plant and it's very easy to at some point see these things then as a commodity and it's just a finished textile but that's not where it originated so I think as a designer that's a really interesting notion to follow that path. What we really found out through this research that it's a lot about raising awareness. We're moving fast, uh, we're seeing the, the nature as a, as a scenery, as a backdrop. We're not really tuning into the small changes that are constantly happening. And I think with the shape-changing textiles that we've designed, we show that when you develop more awareness, you can start to see all these really beautiful, subtle um, changes that create wonder or that create new questions or that maybe invite care or different relationships, hopefully. Our contribution within the project was to look at ecomimicry, so um, looking how ecosystems could potentially be reflected within the research. And what we added on top of it was a more than human view of things because we thought, well, if we're looking at ecosystems, there is more than humans in it. So we need to picture these entities as well. It's definitely not only about the textile itself, it's, it's really more about how you relate and interact with it and what it tells you about your environment. While everything is in flux and constantly changing, I think we also should challenge ourselves as designers um, how we design and what we design and who we design for. Not all of our questions are answered. I think there's more questions, like actually more questions popped up which is a good thing, I think, for the direction of the research um, because uh, that means we're unfolding more about what it actually means that we're doing. Uh, we also uh, yeah, picture as applications like a pavilion or an outdoor space that could be you know, dressed with these materials. So in that sense, yeah, there's a lot that we can already envision that yeah, we can work towards as a follow-up.